Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a first impressions on the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. Um, yeah, so I just tested out the foundation and seeing, kind of doing a wear test and letting you guys know how it works the other day. And yeah, so if you want to see my thoughts and opinions on this foundation, then you can just keep on watching. So, yes, we are going to be testing the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation today and I just pulled up like the little description of it so I would thought I would go over that so it says uh, discover weightless comfortable coverage with Can't Stop Won't Stop 24 hour foundation from NYX stay in put up for up to 24 hours of wear the foundation helps to control shine for a seamless salon worthy matte finish suitable for normal oily combination and sensitive skin types so I'd say I'm not super oily right now. I'd say more on the normal with dry side, but um, I know when I was wearing it yesterday, which is when I filmed that other video, I had put my other foundation pretty much all over top of it, so it's kind of hard to like get a full first impression of how it lasts. But um, I think my skin's not so my skin's not like flaky dry that it's gonna look bad. I think it's more on the normal side right now so I think we'll still be good. So I think I'm gonna try to apply it again with my beauty blender and see if it works better if I blend it right away. <laughs> so <clears throat> I picked up the shade um, Vanilla. So hopefully this shade won't make me look so ghost-like. I was looking at it in store, the shade that I originally got, and it was like really pink and it said it was a warmer undertone. I'm like, mm-mm, that's not, that's like, it's not warm. So this is vanilla, so I kind of just swatched some on my hands, which I know is like not great, but like I figured I'd get closer. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand, like I normally do. And instead of using a brush, I'm just going to pick it up with my sponge this time and see how it does. Okay, this doesn't look so pale. <laughs> I definitely will have to mix with a darker foundation if I'm self-tan um, because it'll be too light. But as far as right now, it actually matches pretty well. Yeah, so blending it right away, it goes on great. I still feel like I'll need to build up um, around my chin a little bit and then right here in this cheek in my cheeks because uh, they are a little bit more red so I feel like with a brush you'll get more full coverage with one layer um, but using a sponge definitely it's gonna shear out a little bit more you can still get really good coverage but it's just not gonna be as full I'm gonna bronze up a bunch so I don't look so blah Do I look like a ghost? Not as much as yesterday. So, so far so good. It's blending out nicely. It's definitely a matte foundation, not dewy at all. Um, I'm just going to take that onto my eyelids some. And I know, I didn't do my eyes first. I better I would just go ahead and do that off camera afterwards. Um, it's having a hard time covering my acne spots right here, but sometimes I need to go with like a dry brush or use my finger with some concealer to get the spots that are really dark. So I do have some darker acne spots right now. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely a fuller coverage foundation, but I wouldn't say it's like super full coverage <clears throat> because I've had to definitely add a couple layers, especially in certain spots where I need extra coverage. But yeah, the match is actually really nice. Um, can't see anything on my neck, so that's great. But hopefully it stays, because I feel like any time that I have a foundation that at first I think, oh, this match is great, then it's like, oh, no, it doesn't. Like, it oxidizes or something, and it just isn't as perfect. <laughs> so hopefully that won't be the case with this. Okay, so yeah, it looks 
gray. It looks, it feels nice and soft. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a bunch of makeup. It doesn't feel, yeah, it doesn't feel heavy or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer now. I'll just go ahead and do that on camera. And I am using the Bi A Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer. Taking a little bit. And this is like a super full coverage for under, uh, concealer. Uh, I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to spot conceal though with the Makeup Revolution concealer because this one's just a tad bit darker than the under eye one. So I don't want, when I uh, tried spot, spot concealing with the A Cosmetics concealer yesterday, it just looked too white around the acne spots and you don't want that. So just spot concealing a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and just highlight the center of my face with this one as well. Bring that out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my uh, face makeup and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with lashes and most of my face makeup. I always look so much more intense on camera. But I figured I would finish off my like lower lash line and stuff and do my lips on camera. So I just used bronzer for eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take my chocolate bronzer. Actually, first I'm going to do inner corner highlight and I'm going to use the Pillow Talk highlighter from Oprah Cosmetics. It's what I used uh, to highlight my face today. This highlighter blends so nicely. Um, some other highlighters, like when I spray my brush, it can go on a little bit, almost like patchy. Um, like go on really strong in some places and then it kind of like just looks a little streaky almost, if that would be a good word. Um, but this one just goes on so seamlessly. So I'm obsessed and it's a beautiful inner corner highlight. Wow. And then just going in with the chocolate bronze, chocolate soleil, I believe. my thoughts so far on this foundation just wearing it while I was doing the rest of my face makeup um so the products blend fine into the foundation um one thing I'm noticing though is that I don't know if my skin is a little too dry for this foundation but like right here you probably can't see it on camera but looking up closely it just looks like there's like these little dots like where foundation is missing like like you took like a more porous sponge or something and it just like picked up some of the product like I don't know so it doesn't like have super full coverage it doesn't look smooth right there it just looks kind of I don't know how to describe it but not great next time I should use a more either moisturize more even though like I don't know how much I'm wearing I can moisturize in the morning or use uh Maybe if I use my Lumi primer, that would help too, because it is such a like luminous primer. I mean, other than that, I feel like it looks fine everywhere else. Oh, I didn't bake. I'm gonna bake my contour while we finish up the eyes and lips. But yeah, you definitely wouldn't want to set too much with this foundation. Like, yeah, you want to be very careful with your powder with this foundation, especially if you don't have super oily skin. Okay. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line, or lower lashes. For lips, I think I want to use a mob story since it was the other new one that I got. So that's what that looks like. It's super pretty. Okay, that this formula is seriously the comfiest formula I've ever tried, I think. It's not as long lasting as some other liquid lipsticks. Um, but it is a velvet lip, so maybe that's why, but, but wow, it's so comfortable. So I'm going to use my MAC Lip Pencil and Hover. Where should we... 
It's also like picking up some on my nose too. It's right in this area that it's just like not looking great. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Moth Story now. Just so comfortable. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at that for now. I will be back later to at the end of the day to give you my final thoughts on how it wore and stuff and if this situation got worse or if it kind of just stayed the same but first impression so far is like I'm not sure kind of meh I might have might just take a couple times trying it with some different products but it's not the best foundation that I've ever tried that's for sure so but yeah I'll be back to check in and give you my final thoughts so I'll see you tonight Alright, so it is the end of the day. I've had the foundation on for probably about 10 hours and it's actually holding up really nicely. I'm not oily at all. I didn't have to touch up at all. I didn't feel greasy. Um, it still looks a little like it didn't get worse um, like around my nose and lip, um, but that part is still kind of like annoying for me. Um, but other than like that spot right there, the foundation looks pretty good, I'd say. Um, yeah, the, I feel like the products blended nicely with it. It's just the nose, I don't know. Maybe I need to moisturize extra there. But, and maybe it'll be a better foundation when I'm not as dry. But overall, I'd say it's a pretty good foundation. And if you're especially more on the oily to normal side, um, I'd say definitely try it out if you're looking for more matte foundation that's long lasting it definitely does last long um or is long lasting because yeah i didn't i don't look oily at all so that's cool but so yeah those are my final thoughts i did want to briefly touch on the packaging i didn't i forgot to do that first um but the packaging is really nice it's a glass bottle which i mean i don't mind and i've never had issues with the glass bottle foundation before like all of my foundations right now are in glass bottles and i've never broken any so i don't really have a problem with that i do really like that it has a pump um that's one thing i don't like about my fit me foundation is it's so messy and you end up wasting like way more product so i do like that it has a pump it just keeps it neater and stuff um so yeah packaging is really nice looks really good quality and stuff doesn't look cheap or anything so that is great yeah that's it for this review if you guys did like this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos and be sure to hit that post notifications button so you're notified every time that i upload and don't forget to follow me on social media i'm on instagram and facebook and have a blog so i'll have everything in the description box below as well as the products that i used on my face um, for this look so yeah, um, I believe that's everything. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.